From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elmore. Today we're going to be talking about why 2023 has started off so warm. Here's a calendar of looking at what 2023 has looked like so far, and we started off with a bang. The 1st of January, we saw record-breaking temperatures. Also, on the 2nd of January, we saw record-breaking temperatures. We started off with the 1st in temperatures in the 70s with lots of sunshine. Then we started to get some storms starting to work in and bringing some cooler weather. But every day since the 1st of the year we've seen temperatures above average that's highlighted in blue here you see the first all the way out until the ninth is when we have seen temperatures above average for this time of year we'll see what the rest of the year is going to look like for us but right now it looks like we're going to continue to see this warm and drier pattern take a look at the next six to ten day outlook you see most of the united states is above average for this time of year highlighted in that dark red you see the whole state of arkansas is going to be in that above average category category. If we look at the next 8 to 14 days, you see we've started to trim down that polygon just a bit, but for the most part, we're still seeing a majority of the United States above average for this time of year, and this is taking us all the way out until the end of January heading into February. So why are we so warm this time of year? Well, there's multiple things that we can connect it to. The first clue is going to be what type of rainfall we've seen for this time of year. So we're going to flash back to 2022, the end of 2022. 22 for December. You see the whole state of Arkansas is really seeing some type of drought like conditions, except for really northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. We got a little bit more rainfall. But if we flash forward to 2023 now where we're at today, we see that the drought monitor has lightened up a bit. We've gotten some rainfall over the past week and that drought monitor has started to show some relief showing northwest Arkansas, the River Valley. Really only LaFleur County is seeing that drought right now. The rest of us, we've seen enough rainfall to stay off that drought monitor. So it's not necessarily that we haven't gotten enough rainfall, and that's why we're seeing warmer temperatures. Take a look at where we're at this time of year. We're seeing that since January 1st, we've seen around a half inch of rain so far, and we're just shy of where we're supposed to be for this time of year. But since December 1st, we've been right on average of where we're supposed to be. In Fort Smith, we've seen less than a half inch of rain so far. That's about a half inch less than what we're supposed to be for this time of year, but back to December. Now we saw the totals exactly what they're supposed to be for that time of year. So it's not our rainfall that's causing this warmer weather, but we're still seeing 70 degrees in January. Take a look at the rest of this week, Tuesday and Wednesday. We're seeing temperatures close to 70 degrees across the River Valley. Our normal highs for this time of year around 51 degrees. Now Thursday and Friday, that's when we get some rain back into the forecast that cools off temperatures just for a bit and then we're already starting to warm back up close to 60 degrees for northwest Arkansas. We're seeing temperatures around 65 to 70 degrees. Our average high for this time of year is around 45 degrees for our daytime highs. We're going to fall back to reality as we get into Thursday, Friday, but Saturday. That's when we start to th see things change around once again. This is all because of our jet stream. Our jet stream has allowed warmer temperatures to come up from the south. That subtropical jet has allowed warmer temperatures to come up from the south, and we really have seen an average jet stream for this type of year. We haven't seen those big dips that allow that wind to come down from the northwest, bringing that cooler air when it should be in January. Take a look at our jet stream right now. You see how it just coasts through the lower 48, not bringing those big uh, jets down from the Canadian air, and we're seeing a lot of warm air for this time of year. Now, when we get that rain heading into Thursday, that's when we'll see a little bit of a dip. Cooler air is going to fall back down, but right behind it is all that warmer air that's going to warm temperatures up by the time we get into the weekend. So for right now, a lot of the south is seeing above average temperatures for this time of year, and it's because our jet stream hasn't been as dramatic as it should be. We should be seeing that wind coming down from the northwest, bringing some Arctic blasts like we've seen in December. But as we showed you, most of the United States is going to be seeing temperatures above average for this time of year. And throughout the rest of January, it's looking like it's going to stay the same. From 5 News, I'm meteorologist Stephen Elm.